artists often ask the question, how do I price my artwork for sale? There are three things that you need to consider when pricing your artwork. First is the cost of the materials used to create it. The second is the cost of your time and how long it took you to create it. And the third is how important is that artwork to you and your development as an artist. Let me use some of my own artworks and as, as an example for what I'm talking about. First up, just get this in the shot there. This artwork is called I C and it's an acrylic and chalk pastel work on canvas. The cost of the materials to create this artwork is about $25 all up. It took me around four hours to actually create the artwork and I usually cost my time at $30 an hour. So if you go four times 30 is $120 plus the cost of materials, which was 25, so that takes it up to $145. So far, this artwork is going to cost $145. However, conceptually, this artwork is quite important to me. I think it's one of my best artworks and was sort of the peak artwork in a series of cat artworks that I did. So when you take that into account, that the value of how important it is to me needs to be considered in the cost of the work. And I've determined that I couldn't part with this artwork for anything less than $220. So the additional value I've put on the time it took and the cost of materials is a further $75 valuing how important this artwork is to me. So let's look at another artwork. Here we go. Get this into shot. There you are. This artwork is called Michelle Rises. Again, it's an acrylic and chalk pastel artwork on canvas. It's smaller work than the last one, so obviously that's going to reduce the price somewhat in terms of cost of materials. All up the cost of the materials in this probably cost me about $15. The time it took me to actually create this artwork, I estimated about three hours to create this, and at $30 an hour that comes to $90, plus the cost of my, of my materials, which was 15 so that takes it up to $105. Conceptually, I don't feel that this artwork is any great sort of leap in my development as an artist, uh, which is not to say that I think that this is a bad artwork. I still believe it's quite a good artwork, but in terms of where I am, this is sort of a continuation of work that I've already been doing. Um, it's part of a series. I've done quite a few in this style, so from that point of view it, it's not especially important. So the markup I've put on it to factor in how important it is, I've determined I wouldn't sell this artwork for anything less than $125 which is really only a $20 markup in terms of importance. 
So, if we just take a look at one more artwork, which is this artwork here. Make sure that's in shot. This artwork is entitled Smaller Expanse Number 3. Cost me about three dollars in material for the canvas. Materials for the canvas, and as you can see, the surface is completely free of any marks made by me. Therefore, the entire cost of materials is simply the cost of the canvas. Now, in terms of the time it took me to create this work, I spent well, maybe about two hours wrestling with the idea of whether I should put any marks whatsoever on the surface of this canvas. And in the end, as you can see, I decided against marking the surface in any way. So if we factor in time into that artwork, artwork's price is about two hours thinking time, $30 an hour, that's $60, plus the $3 in materials, so that's $63. However, conceptually, this artwork is extremely important to me in terms of my development as an artist. It shows that I've moved on from being representational and gone to a more sophisticated level of conceptual art where I've gone beyond feeling the need to be subjective about the art that I create or indeed having any kind of subject whatsoever. However, obviously this is a smaller work, so that's going to factor into the price as well. We'll probably bring the price down a bit, but in terms of, of its importance, well, I couldn't sell this work for anything less than $1,300, because it, it's an extremely important work and sort of conceptually and creatively I've sort of evolved from the previous two artworks that you saw. So, in if you're a new artist in terms of pricing your work, I hope that's given you something to think about and hopefully that will help you when it comes to pricing your own artworks.